Good day, and welcome back to the Valder Beebe Show as I wrap up my morning. I couldn't leave Dr. Boone off because he's president and CEO and medical director of the Boone Heart Institute. And I think it's a good time to talk about our heart and cholesterol. You know, it's time for us to tackle that. Dr. Boone, welcome to the Valder Beebe Show for the first time. Thank you so much. It's great to be with you today. All right. Sometimes, you know, people must face the toughest opponents in life. And is cholesterol one of those tough opponents? Yes, I think cholesterol is very much, uh, as we approach the football season in uh, Texas and across the country, the uh, uh, a dangerous opponent. And we need to develop good uh, offensive and defensive game plans to handle this cholesterol. The cholesterol comes in two types. The most dangerous one that we're going to focus on today is LDL or bad cholesterol. The good cholesterol, HDL, is elevated by appropriate lifestyle and exercise habits. But the bad cholesterol is a silent killer that we need to, uh, we need to investigate as early as we can in our lives. Can we have both bad and good at the same time or what? How yes, both both cholesterols are always there, and the ones with the highest LDL or bad cholesterol, it's depositing in the artery walls and is sticking in the lining of the artery. The HDL is trying to clean it out, but it can't usually, and most people do enough of a good job to accomplish that. So the LDL cholesterol is always there, and the higher the worse usually, uh, especially in those with known cardiovascular or heart disease. Okay, does high cholesterol, a lot of bad high cholesterol lead to heart disease or is those two separate things we're talking about? No, the high bad cholesterol leads to heart disease and you can't feel it developing. I sometimes wish when I have too much barbecue or pizza or whatever that my arteries would hurt so that I would be warned about what's happening. But we don't have anything but just a satisfied diet, and we forget that those are the beginnings of what will eventually lead to really the death of most of Americans will occur because of cardiovascular disease that develops with one of the prime movers, LDL cholesterol, that is elevated uh, oftentimes by our lifestyle habits, but also is genetically related and gets worse the older we are and the more we age. So strategies to control LDL are really life-giving strategies that need to be pursued with not only your uh, efforts in lifestyle, but with the partnership of your doctor and healthcare team. So what should your doctor be telling us about, especially my audience is mostly baby boomers, 89.9% of them are baby boomers. So I know this is of interest to them. So when they're visiting their doctor and their doctor says, you know, uh, uh, you could be on the verge of heart disease or you've got some heart disease, what are the lifestyle changes that you, the individual, can enact along with your doctor? Yes, I think avoiding processed foods, uh, eating healthy, is pursuing a lot of fruits and vegetables, uh, keeping your uh, weight down and your uh, and your meal volume down, all those are good. And then pursuing physical activity would be appropriate. But we found even people among the 30 million people with known heart disease, many of whom are among the baby boomers, they uh, have inadequate control of LDL at least 80% of the time. Only 20% of the people, even taking statin medicines, have ideal cholesterols at the goal recommended. So we have partnered with Novartis, the makers of Lecvio in glycerin, to develop a coaching cholesterol program. So I would encourage us as a baby boomer myself uh, to take a statin medicine, partner with your doctor to be on a statin, and then look for additional choices that help further get you to your LDL cholesterol goal, one of which is Lecvio, an injection that you take every six months after two initial doses. And it's administered by your doctor or healthcare professional Uh, And like anything, you need to go over the medicine approaches and side effects with your doctor. But I found that the medicines, especially at my age and the age of much of your audience, is like building a safety net under your lifestyle. So I used to run marathons and play basketball, but it's hard to do that anymore. And so my lifestyle becomes like a trapeze act and I continue to fall off as I fail from time to time with not getting enough exercise or eating the wrong foods. But my LDL control, my coaching game plan with my doctor gives me a safety net versus that. And Novartis has developed a 
coachingcholesterol.com website where people can go for more information about these important issues. And I think the older you get, the more important this becomes. You're so very true. Uh, let me ask you, uh, tell me just a little bit what cholesterol is again so we can have an understanding because as patients we use these terms but we don't know what really what they are. I know you're very right. Cholesterol is a very abstract concept. Now it is it is coming often from our diet and then it is moved into the bloodstream and in the bloodstream it's supposed to be cleared by the liver and then cholesterol is almost like uh, the raw materials in a factory and in a factory you need those raw materials to manufacture things so our body needs cholesterol to manufacture all sorts of things in our bodies uh, everything from cell walls to testosterone and estrogen have cholesterol as a part of them. The trouble is most of the cholesterol is floating around in the bloodstream and it's supposed to not be there. In the bloodstream, it just causes our early demise, known heart disease and death and disability. The liver is trying to clear the cholesterol out of your bloodstream. And that's where we often need medicines to accomplish that. Lecvio is especially good at helping the body's natural clearance mechanisms take hold and get that cholesterol out of your system. And then the more heart disease a person has, 30 million people with known heart disease, the lower your LDL cholesterol goals are usually there. So oftentimes working with your doctor with a whole game plan of medications are needed to support good lifestyle. So as a baby boomer myself, aggressively working with my doctor to embrace as many medications and approaches I can use to lower my LDL cholesterol is actually a smart thing. And I'm finally, I'm going to ask you a, a, a culturally sensitive question. You said that 30 million Americans have heart disease and bad cholesterol. Can you break that down to me in Hispanics and African Americans? Because I know they're usually the leader in all of the wrong things. You're right. You're right. I think um, the disease is not discriminator. It is men and women, all races, all types. And many of these medicines have no racial or ethnic preferences. Now, certainly those who are more proactive in working with their doctors should be there. And, and I think all of the data that we have about various ethnic subgroups show that rates are higher in those groups for a variety of reasons. So if I was any ethnic subgroup, I would be even more aggressive at seeking appropriate medication and, uh, and approaches along those lines. Now, my f the biggest risk factor of all, though, is age. And so my father just turned 98 yesterday and if he weren't oh. managing his, I know, is that amazing? He was in the Battle of the Bulge in World War II and all kinds of things. And he's still writing children books, playing the trumpet. But if it wasn't for his LDL control strategies, he probably would not be here today because he has known cardiovascular disease. So now I'm not only a baby boomer, but he is still alive as the actual World War II father of that. And I think that that's where your listeners, the more aggressive you can be, and, and trusting your health care provider. And oftentimes your doctor actually likes it when you ask him or her for more support. They like it when people are actually embracing this. So I, as a patient, my father, my family, embrace aggressive LDL cholesterol control. And that becomes even more important as you've got known disease. And then strategies like statins, and additional medications like Lecvio and Clycerin can help in that regard. And then we've got a website for much of this information. It's called coachingcholesterol.com. So anytime your listeners are watching a football game this season, in the commercial break, go to coachingcholesterol.com and it can tell them to eat the carrots and celery instead of the uh, other things that are available during uh, uh, tailgating. <laughs> I'm sure they eat quite a few other things, Dr. Boone. Uh, I want to remind my yes. audience that Dr. Boone is president, CEO, medical director of the Boone Heart Institute. You have gotten firsthand great information as if you were sitting in your doctor's office. So why not act on this information? Go to the website, get some more information, and talk to your primary care physician. Dr. Boone, once again, what's that website? Coachingcholesterol.com. 
All right, we'll be looking for those commercials during football season because there's going to be a lot of football in Texas. That's all right. Go, go Texas. Thank you, Dr. Boone. Have a great day. Okay, bye. And in print publications, I interviewed the world's most fascinating authors, all because I love a good book. This summer, I partnered with WPS for BB Summer Book Giveaway. We're giving away New York Times bestsellers and award-winning books, books that inspire me and I'm sure they'll inspire you. To be eligible to win a copy of Jesus Can Give You a New Life, answer this question. What is God's greatest gift to mankind? You'll find the answer in John 3.16 of the Bible. Send your response to the email at the bottom of the screen. I'm Valder Beebe, and I'll see you for the next BB Summer Book Giveaway. <laughs>